You know, something that I noticed when I do go for runs or when I go for a walk like today, there's been on more than one occasion where I'll run by and little kids knock on the window like they're incarcerated. And they, they wave and they holler at me. But it makes me wonder if they ever get to go outside. Oh, what do you see? Is that? Is that some kind of coniferous tree? Now the only reason I forgot to come outside today was because the weather has been nasty. And this is really one of the most beautiful days that we've had in this area in southwest Wisconsin. And I'm enjoying it with the kitty right now. Even though I should be running. Got my Nikes on. These were secondhand Nikes my grandma got from somebody. But I can assure you on my way back I'm gonna go for a run. Is that another fur? Carnivorous. Coniferous tree, not a carnivorous the same name. Bunch of bottles. What is this? Oh, I think that's something that belongs to somebody. I don't know if he's doing kitty personal business over there or what. I was trying to recycle that bag, but I don't know if that belongs to someone. I don't want to take somebody's property that doesn't belong to me. We're going to dye Easter eggs at my friend um, Edward's house. Are you going to head back home, or are you coming a little bit farther with me? And your tail's wagging. You know you're up to something. Your mind's a turning, isn't it? The wheels are turning. It's very cool. Hi. He got in a little scuffle with something. And he got his ear. His ear a little hurt, but his mama, which is me, took some peroxide spray and some useful and wiped it down and cut the scab off of it. You want to show him your injury? Show him what happened to you. See? No. But he's healing up really good. It looks a lot better than yesterday. Yeah. Big brave kitty. Oh, somebody's got a boat. Isn't that nice?
this wood pile. They could have a nice bonfire soon. It's a little windy tonight for a bonfire. One of these days. Oh, this little ear does look so much better, you guys. I was like a little bit concerned yesterday. Which direction are we going? I like it when we go on walks together. Sometimes we jog together. And I know when my friend Nick and little princess, his canine daughter, who is also special to me, and she's, she's Easter's sissy, is her mana. We all walk together, and people wave at us, and it feels like a little parade sometimes. I miss those days. And they're, they're coming soon, again. Today feels like the first day of the start. Oh, look at you. Today feels, well, it's special because it's Easter, so it's new beginnings, isn't it? New beginnings. I named Easter, well, I asked him to. I said, I want to name you Easter after the Tori Amos song, Crucified as a Cat Named Easter. He says, you're just an empty cage girl if you kill the bird. Well, he's black and white, and those are traditionally Easter colors, even though everything's a color explosion at Easter. But I asked him, I'm like, is it okay if I name you Easter? Because that's kind of a, has a lot of Christian, obviously connotations to it and he went he meowed and he looked really happy but our neighbors Val and Tom are his spooky mom well Nick is kind of spooky but they're his spooky mom and dad and they named him Bella well I call him y'all because a lot of people mistake him for a little girl and he doesn't mind I feel like he's all boy sometimes but it doesn't offend him when people mistake him for a girl, and I don't correct people. Because Bella is actually a very good gender non-binary name. And my mom, if I was going to be a boy, was going to name me Skylar back in the 80s. And Skylar is also a gender non-binary name, but I ended up being named after my mom, Laura. What do you see? There's a tail is going. And I don't consider myself gender non-binary. I have a cousin that's extraordinary that used to go by the name Bethany but changed their name to Emerson and I'm very proud of Emerson. I know they're gonna go super far in life. Look at the grass. It was not green like this yesterday, everyone. It was kind of gray. As of yesterday, look at the grass. Little ones, what do you see? We're taking a detour from going to Edward's house. I'm following the kitty. I'd like to see where the kitty goes during the day. Are you showing Mama where you go? like living in the country while you're it's actually technically a village it's the village of Cuba City well it's called Cuba City I think that's right Beautiful. 
have already been here before. Something tells me you might have. What do you see? Hope they don't mind I'm on their property taking a video of you. You want to go this way? Mama has to go to Edwards. Says she can go back home and do yoga, which she loves to do. Hopefully Paul and all night are in that sleep. And if I feel like I can't go on, I'm going to open a book. Which book should I read first? How about all of the books that I started that didn't finish? Or should I start a new book again? How are you going to these folks home? I'm just following you. Should we say hello to these people? They're gonna be like, who's the weird lady in the green coat with the kitty? And I'll say, hi, I'm your neighbor. I bet they're having a good Easter in there. Sounds like they're having fun. Well, Easter, I know you can find your way home and you're on your adventure. I'm going to go to my friend Edwards now so that I can get back home to you to let you in. Everyone, I know that Easter, aka Kitty 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 Kitty, aka Bella, loves you very much.